Well, welcome back, grade 11s. And key difference here, and if you watched the previous examples, you'll know that I've been hinting at it already. Here we've got two terms on the numerator. There's a plus separating these two terms here, not multiplying. So we're going to have a slightly different approach to the previous ones. We're still going to make sure that we've got prime bases. Well, that's fine. 5, 5, 5, and they're all the same. So that's convenient. And a nice little trick to do what we need to do is to call what we call split and then factorize. So we need to factorize. Factorizing allows us to turn multiple terms into one term. Very powerful, that idea. So to help us factorize, we can split 5 to the n minus 1 to 5 to the n times 5 to the minus 1. And just think about that going backwards for a second. Here we'd be multiplying 5 to the n times 5 to the minus 1. Bases are the same, add exponents, and we would have got back to where we started. But the split will help us in the next step. So plus, let's split that second term, 5 to the n times 5 squared. And let's split our denominator while we add it. Now, I wonder if some of you will do this without the split. I find the split can be quite useful. Sometimes I don't use it, to be honest. But it's quite a handy one. Because now we can say, well, let's have a look and see, can we find our lowest, or our common factor, our highest common factor? Well, if we look here, there's, is that our, ah, that's the one I want. We've got a 5 to the n there and a 5 to the n. So we can take that out as a common factor. So let's take the 5 to the n out as a common factor. And by highlighting it, we can see what we still need to write in the brackets. There are two terms, so there must be two terms in the bracket. So if we multiply 5 to the n by 5 to the minus 1, we've got back to our first term. And our second term, we still need to multiply by 5 squared. So just to check what we're doing there, if we multiply that together, we're just checking, do we get our first term? Well, it looks like it. 5 to the n times 5 to the minus 1 is 5 to the n times 5 to the minus 1. Okay, well, that was great. And if we multiply our second term, we've got 5 to the n times 5 squared. Well, that is 5 to the n times 5 squared. Okay, denominator is already one term. So there's no need to do any factorization. Okay, one term of one term means that we can safely say 5 to the n goes in there once, 5 to the n goes in there once, which means we're just left with 5 to the minus 1 plus 5 squared over 5 to the 1. And we could work out what that is, a fifth plus 25, and divide that by 5. But to be honest, I'm just going to get my calculator. I've got it here somewhere. Where's my calculator? And just punch it in, and it's going to tell me it's 126 over 25. We really can just do that in the calculator. The, the work we want to see is the work we've seen already. Okay, so that was that. I'll see you in the next example.